a girlfriend, you've been with her for four years, you have a child, and so what's wrong with the relationship? Uh, well, I mean, what, what I'm not proud of is that, you know, I cheated on my girlfriend. Well, why would you do that? Well, she, I don't know, I think she's so worried about being the good mom. And so how did you wind happen. up with this other woman? Well, she came over. Oh, actually, so she, she's like a family friend? Yeah, she, she's a friend of ours. Okay. She so came she, over and she's sitting there helping me with my son. Well, my son had, was carrying his sippy cup with juice in it and he's running. He almost, I almost ran him over trying to get into the kitchen. Yeah. And she grabs him, but the juice spills on her top. And? Well, when the juice spilled on the top, I offered, you know, she could wash her shirt at my place. But then when I put my da son down for his nap, we continued to, you know, watch TV, hang out a little bit. But then she started talking about how much a uh, stay-at-home dad, even though I don't have a job, being a stay-at-home dad, trying to, you know, take care of the housework and yeah, yeah. taking care of my son and, and everything. And she understands you. <laughs> so you put your arm around her. Actually, she kissed me first. <laughs> And then just, I don't know, just by having the affection, I guess, you know, from having yeah. the affection from another woman. Okay, now, so it happened that one time? Yes. Has it happened since? No. Oh, so this was a one-time thing. You feel bad about it. Yes. You're here to tell your girlfriend, sorry it happened. Yes. But you don't want to leave your girlfriend. No. But you do want her to have more intimacy with you. Yes. Maybe you should show, th throw some of the food on her blouse. <laughs> I might have to. It seems to work. Hey, kid, can I have you a sippy bottle? <laughs> I've never heard of that approach, but it seems to work. <coughs> What's uh, Stacy? Who's Stacy? Your girlfriend? Stacy's my girlfriend. Well, she, well, she's outside the studio, so she doesn't know this. Let's bring her out, and you can tell her. Here's Stacy. <laughs> Okay, welcome, Stacy. Nice to see you. You too. Uh, you guys, he's saying you, you've been together for four years and you have a little girl, boy? Boy. A little boy. Okay, and two years old? Very nice. And uh, how would you describe the relationship? I think our relationship's pretty good. I mean, we have our fights, but everyone does. Okay, but otherwise, and you love him? Yes. Okay. Seems like a nice lady. What do you want to tell her? Uh, Stacy. Uh, you know, I really haven't been too happy lately in our relationship. I mean, for some reason, it just seems like you want to be more of the good mom compared to being the good mom and the good boyfriend. So, I had sex with Jen. Are you serious? Yes. Why? Like, what would pursue you to do something like that? Well, you haven't been intimate with me at all. Okay, we sit so there, you... You sit there and go to work, and when you come home, I try to be intimate with you. So you sleep you with don't. one of my friends? She showed me affection. And I don't show you affection? No. I work that, every day to support us. And it seems like that's all you do. And our son. That seems like all you do. It, do you not feel, you know, physically close to him? Yes, I do. And, but you're, but you're still too tired to be intimate with him. I'm not saying you should be, I'm just really asking. No, I mean, we're intimate, just not all the time. Right. I don't have enough time for all that, like, every day. Jerry, we have sex maybe once every three weeks. <laughs> you don't work Sundays. Does she know how it happened? Uh, what did you tell her? <laughs> well, it was this past week, weekend. Well, you were at work, she came over to see if you were home. And she seen how I was trying to clean the house and give our son his lunch. Well, I almost mowed down our son going into the kitchen and she grabbed our son and the juice spilled on her top. <laughs> yeah. I had a similar face. <laughs> <laughs> So I 
offered to wash her shirt, and she gave the shirt to me. I offered her another shirt, but she declined the shirt. Well, that did it. She didn't want the shirt. <laughs> that isn't a sign of sleep with me. I don't know what it is. So we were sitting there, you know, just still hanging out and all. And then she started telling me how much she admired, how much I tried to clean the house, and she how much. She admires you. Yeah, she admires me how much she cleans the house. She admires what's in your pants, sweetheart. And how much, how much, how I take care of our son when you're at work. Okay. And then when she leaned in and gave me a kiss. Well, at least you can take care of your son. What's she doing with her kids? Let's find out. Here's Jennifer. Have any desires to be with him? No, I was in a commitment for five years. I was treated like I don't want to be in a commitment ever okay. again. I just I wanted to. Everybody needs a booty call. Yeah. Like you, the rest of Strutter's area. Do we have a Slurpee cup here? <laughs> uh. So I'm thinking. I'm not sensing any passion for him. And if you're not passionate, it's probably better to find out now than later on. Yeah. But I do want to be with him. I want to be with you, too. It's just constantly, every time you go to work and you come home, and then I'll be sitting on the couch. I'll even ask you how your day's been. Sit there and make you dinner. And I get nothing in return. I don't even get a thank you in return. I mean, I'm sorry for what I did. Jen, that was a one-time thing. That's never going to happen again. That's you could fine. spill it again. I'm not sorry. But that's but fine. I want to be with Stacy. I liked it. I don't regret nothing. I'm not sorry for it. I was thinking about myself at the time. I don't give a damn about your feelings, but I feel sorry for you. Uh, you know I want to be with you, Stacy. I want to have family. I want to have another kid so with you. prove it. I prove it every day. But don't do things to be sorry for. This is the first time I've done something to be sorry for. I do things every day. I mean, I'm practically the maintenance keeper of our home. I don't get a thank you for it. I don't get when you come home from work, oh, honey, the house is nice. You like him, but you got to figure out if you really love him. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.